Now, when our kids grow up, we want them out of our pockets, but how we are with money, our kids notice. That's why we have Allison Cade. She's a millennial money expert at Fabric Insurance Company. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Well, how does Fabric help us teach the littles about how to manage money? Well, Fabric really helps because it gives you the opportunity to demonstrate strong money skills of your own. So it's really a one-stop shop for parents to get in control of their finances. That includes affordable life insurance you can get totally online without talking to a salesy agent. It includes a free last will and testament that you can also get online and also an app that lets parents sync up their finances to demonstrate to each other and to their children that they really are on the same page now, a lot of people have downloaded a lot of apps. Sometimes they can be clunky, they can be difficult to use. What sets this app apart from others? Well, really, I think what you said precisely, it has a clean interface that's easy to use. The, the financial industry, and especially insurance, is very old school and often hard to use. This is the next generation. So if we have a problem on our own with impulse buying, how can we help our kids avoid it? Well, first you kind of need to start at home and work on yourself. Even if you have young children as well, I have a toddler. Every time I teach her wait, wait, and try to help her with patience, she's learning impulse control. So another thing is when we start giving our kids allowances, a lot of debate, how old should they be before we start doing that? What do you recommend? It'll depend on your kid their personality, your family. But a lot of experts recommend starting at age four or five in the amount of the child's age. So a four-year-old would get about $4 and a five-year-old would get about $5. Is that a week or a month? Again, you could decide for yourself, but I think usually per week. I think it depends on how much they're willing to vacuum their room. Um, how can we <laughs> help our older kids manage their allowances? So I think the first thing is to explain needs versus wants. And you could even talk about something like the cost of their extracurricular activities as a jumping off point. How much does it cost to buy that gear for that sport? You can also lead by example, showing your kids how you give to charity and let them be involved in choosing where you give. Show them your own spending and saving decisions too, so they can see tangibly how you do it too. I think that that's something that is kind of counterintuitive for a lot of families. Uh, they, a lot of families don't discuss money at all. Mm -hmm. So you recommend actually letting your child watch you use fabric and manage your money. Absolutely. You might even choose to use cash instead of credit cards so they can see in a more tactile way the fact that when you buy something, you do have to give something up, literally. That credit card, studies have shown that a lot of people don't think that they're mm -hmm. losing anything as much as when they have to hand over cash. So, so you're saying that there is some truth to that? Studies have shown that. So absolutely. And I think especially for a child, it's often easier to understand my mom is paying $5 for this if they see you pay $5 as opposed to handing a piece of plastic. Okay, well, everyone, we will have a link to Fabric mm -hmm. on fox2now.com. Allison Cade, we learned a lot. Thank you so much for Thank joining us. Thank you so us. much.